Blood pressure is a confusing fraction of frightening numbers for many. We hope to explain these numbers and with some facts, lessen the fear. I'm Lauren Audie and this is your Herald Health Minute brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. There is not one single cause for high blood pressure. In fact, for most people with high blood pressure, the disease does not have one single cause. Age, family history, ethnicity, or an underlying medical problem such as kidney disease and tumors in the adrenal glands may be factors. The risk of death from heart attack and stroke increases with high blood pressure. Even people whose pressure is only slightly above normal are at risk. So what should your numbers be to be considered healthy? The top number is called the systolic pressure and it represents the amount of pressure in your body when your heart beats. Remember that a heartbeat is a contraction of your heart muscle, which expels blood throughout our body. This number should be between 90 and 120 millimeters of mercury. The bottom number of the blood pressure fraction is known as a diastolic pressure and it represents the pressure in your body when your heart is at rest. Therefore, it should be less than the top number, usually less than 80. Both the top and bottom numbers of the blood pressure fraction are equally important to monitor. People with blood pressure readings consistently at or above 130 systolic or 80 diastolic are considered as having high blood pressure. Some of the risk factors for high blood pressure are unique to women. Menopause increases a woman's risk for high blood pressure according to the American Heart Association. It is believed that as estrogen levels decrease, a woman's arteries become less flexible and the pressure increases. Weight gain around the time of menopause also may increase a woman's risk. Use of birth control pills and pregnancy, especially if you are overweight or have a family history of high blood pressure, can also increase your risk. <laughs> Avoiding use of birth control pills, weight gains, high sodium intake, and an inactive lifestyle are four areas which we may be able to decrease our risk of high blood pressure, especially if a person's blood pressure is marginally high. For some people, making a lifestyle change can lessen the need for blood pressure lowering medications. For more Herald Health and Wellness reports, visit the CapeMayCountyHerald.com and click the Lifestyle tab. This health video has been brought to you by the Cape Regional Health System. For information on services and for a healthier life, call 609-463-CAPE.